We're here at MOCA for a tour of Water to Paper, Paint to Sky, an exhibition of the life and works of Chinese-American artist Tyrus Wong, the little-known creative mind behind the distinct look of the classic Disney animated film, Bambi. It was Tyrus Wong's unique artistic style that made Bambi stand apart from previous films, such as Snow White, its predecessor. Still, what many don't realize is that its distinct qualities draw direct inspiration from Chinese artistic tradition. In Snow White, it was much more detailed and, you know, sort of obsessively described, whereas with Tyrus's work and, you know, his influence coming from um, Song Dynasty landscape painting, it was much more suggestive and ethereal in the way that he rendered the light and the trees and the mountain. Tyrus Wong was born in 1910 in Guangdong Province, China, and emigrated to California at the age of nine with his father. Trained at home by his father in traditional Chinese arts, and at Otis College in Western arts, Tyrus's unique artistic language and sense of color attracted the attention of Walt Disney when, while working as an in-betweener doing the grunt work of the animation studio in 1938, he produced several small illustrations of his own, inspired by the script of Bambi. I think um, this is heavily influenced by um, specifically Song Dynasty painting um, in China, which uh, was known for its you know, expansive landscapes. And something that I think Disney picked up on was that Tyrus is able to describe a scene very um, richly with uh, very economic means without using a lot of descriptive detail. Um, it was evocative and suggestive. Bambi isn't Tyrus's only claim to fame. The exhibition also features several illustrations Tyrus made while working as a production illustrator and sketch artist for Warner Brothers in the 1940s. The exhibited pieces, which range from paintings to concept art to the kites he began handcrafting in retirement, were borrowed from several lenders, including Tyrus's family and the Disney Museum. A lot of people don't know about him, and I think that's been the consistent reaction. It's like, wow, I didn't know that this person was Chinese who, um, you know, um, was responsible for the visual style of, of all these films, not just Bambi. At the Museum of Chinese in America, the hope is that Tyrus Wong will serve as an example of the multitude of ways in which Chinese Americans can succeed in American society, and without necessarily having to shirk their Chineseness to get there. Tyrus is, I think, as Chinese as it gets and also as American as it gets. Chinese people don't just have to be math wizards and engineers and so on and so forth. Living a creative life um, can also be it's a form of success. How Chinese have seen the landscape and how they have uh, portrayed it is something that can also be used um, you know, to paint an American landscape and be used to um, you know, illustrate a, a quintessential piece of Americana. Water to Paper, Paint to Sky will be on view through September 13th.